Aquarius signs and Sagittarius. This is Kim. Here to do a reading for you all for the next 48 hours. I'm going to do a quick reading for you. Hopefully, spirit as clear and concise as possible. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you so much for your likes, all the support, shares, comments. Um, I appreciate all of you. And if you would like a private reading, check out the box how to get that. Just allow 24 hours for it to be sent. Okay, so because I'm thankfully busy. Thankfully busy. All right, we have the Intuitive Life Coaching Oracle. Bring it in, Sagittarius' Spirit Guides, Higher Self, Higher Power. Skin messages that are clear and concise for the sign of Sagittarius. A general reading to help them on their way forward or up, ascending. All right, the first card that's out is 23, Restlessness. It says, find a way to calm the waters of your mind. Just think about how, what could you do that um, is considered a tranquil thing for you to do, something to calm you. And, and watch out for the things that you can use as addictions or attachments to make you relax too, though. Right, because it's mentioning the void. So it says you may be covering up the emptiness through a, or pain through an addiction. Something about your thoughts. Make sure you pay attention to your thoughts because there is something about automatic negative thinking here. It says you're learning to take charge of the thoughts that you choose to give life to. If you live in the here and now, your mind tends to not focus on things in the past because when you gain awareness like when you observe everything and you calculate in your head I'm looking at this I feel this temperature when you're aware of those things that's what you're thinking of that's why it's like better to live in the present because it's it's it definitely gets you away from things like that it makes you more aware period 18 past life connections you're currently healing past life wounds may have to do with that void or some automatic negative thinking i'm feeling like it might have to do with the way you perceive something in a past life and maybe that emotion is coming through as like an extra worry for you so you have nourishment watch what you're putting into your body make sure that everything is not you know that nothing is toxic for you here it says you're being asked to take time out for self-care and nourishment get lots of water nourish your body with the sun and definitely watch those thoughts because um, it's a big message here with the 66 coming up with hibernation your soul needs time alone for meditation and rest it, that always means to me keep your thoughts positive remember to keep your thoughts positive yep. all right so now Let's see. Let's do angel number messages and then um So we'll do sacred signs and symbols and then we'll go on to your tarot spread. Or Sagittarius is next. 48 hour spirit is clear and concise as can be. Angel number messages. What angel number messages do you have for Sagittarius? Okay, good, good cards. Good numbers, good numbers. 11, master number 11. You have keen awareness of what is happening around you. So it's mentioning again, keep up with the awareness. Be aware of what you're looking at. Um, it says you have a strong intuition and that's the gift that will help you understand unspoken feelings and thoughts of others. So I am intuitive, you're an intuitive. You're able to read into things more on an energy level maybe than other people. And it might be because you're an old soul. It might be that because of this past life connection. So seven, you possess a very refined mind and a deep urge to uncover life's mysteries. Your ability to acquire vast knowledge on both the informational and spiritual planes give you, let's see, gives you a greater awareness than most. 
I am brilliant. Number seven. Nice. Good cards. All right. All right. Now, this is a general. So anything that might come out regarding love, you can look at it as any kind of relationship. Okay. So, this can go for anything. Anything is the Epiphany deck and the Sacred Signs and Symbols deck from Etsy. All right. What do you have for Sagittarius? What do you have for Sagittarius? Red wine, seduction, temptation, or evil. Goodness. Maybe it's the drinking part. <laughs> Maybe it's the drinking part. I don't know. I'm not really judgmental on that, though. Hard to say goodbye. Oh. Hard to say goodbye. And diamond ring. True loyalty and a love token. That's going to be very, very individual on them what you are individually going through so take that as it resonates i'm gonna use the rider weight i'm feeling like using that one for you all so for sagittarius rider weight give us some messages please our general reading as clear and concise as can be for the sign of sagittarius what is the issue for sagittarius right now what's the issue Say something not wanting to come out but we have something we have page of pentacles it's a good issue um different feelings can be revolve revolving around this um page of pentacles it, sometimes it's talking about a child earth sign um this is definitely a message though it about new beginnings something really exciting a new adventure for you if it's finance, this can be a message of finances or an investment paying off or getting some kind of word of money. And there's another, um, could be a child air sign. There's page of swords on the bottom. So there's more information to be received. And I feel like that's some of the information. Okay, what's a challenge to your page of pentacle energy here? A higher event. It's all about a commitment. Message, getting message regarding the challenge is the commitment itself. So maybe this has to do with the job, with the hard to say goodbye. Might have to do with the partnership of any kind, any kind of partnership. Could have a Taurus and then of course we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Child. What is the root here? <laughs> the root. Ugh, okay, you don't have enough information um, about how something could possibly proceed. It doesn't look possible from this angle or from this lack of information. It doesn't seem possible. Now, this could be Cancer. This could be Taurus. We have, again, air sign, earth sign, children energy. So something that doesn't look like it's going anywhere is what it feels like. Okay, the past energy, Sagittarius. Past energy is the Knight of Swords, so that was quick. Somebody may have cut something off in the past, like recent past, or this change came in in the recent past. It was sudden. It's not associated with anything good nor bad with my readings because it could be, it could be anything. The, these all could be anything. Hmm. Okay, the present energy, and that could be a Libra Aries. I mean, Libra Gemini or Aquarius, sorry. All right, the present energy, the Queen of Wands in the reverse with the Five of Wands. This is saying uh, that you need to be a little bit more bold and daring here because something about the competition is rough. Rough or like hardcore into something. All arguing, all battling for having the right answer, claiming to know the right answer. But the Queen of Wands in reverse is, well, I mean, that could be Sagittarius energy that's not being like living up to your full potential. It can have to do with sharing your spiritual gifts. Is just a side note. 
and, and and something might be appearing to be too greedy like somebody something might be appearing as self-centered or selfishness i don't necessarily think it is though i think the competition is is coming from this loving place honestly it all intensive purposes maybe the devil's in the details who knows but it feels like it's all right here it just you know it's annoying energy and you need to step into your power and start using your gifts i think that's what they're telling you with this queen of wands in reverse is that you're not using something that you've been gifted and therefore well it's not getting any better if you're not using it to your advantage or to everybody's advantage right so near future energy is could have a leo aries too also Near future energy for Sagittarius. All right. Coming out of a healing. Some of you are will be coming out of a healing. Some of you will be going in to this rest, um, the recovery place. Either way, either way, it's sitting out an argument or a fight. So whatever this conflict is about here, this pettiness, this competition energy it it's going to be taking a rest right give it a rest that's what i feel like it's saying so yeah something will be dying down near future that's good arguments will be dying down okay how do you feel about this you feel like a rebirth has happened and like you are waiting for your ships to arrive you're waiting for either some energy that you put in in the past to pay off or uh, this is just your re this is your rebirth. This is something that's coming in for you. You're expecting, you're expecting a rebirth after this recharge. You might be expect expecting somebody to come in from a journey. Maybe something's over about feeling betrayed. I don't think that's it. Though. I'm sorry. It's 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 rebirth. It's that's what it's about. Now. Since it's Page of Pentacles as the issue, it could be rebirth of finances getting in order. So you might be looking in at, you might be looking out to see to see your finances coming in. It might be something like that too. So what's the external energy? Yeah, that seven of wands feels like this energy right here which is the present energy so five of wands and seven of wands feel very similar just imagine people on the other side of these wands so that's how i look at it is that you are standing up for truth everybody's standing up for truth and everybody's like everybody's like defending their stance on things so defense defense standing in your power speaking your truth because truly here you're being told and being shown in many signs sorry about that traffic that um that you're intuitive and you do have information that where you can combine spirit and um material world information like you can gather this information from your skill so what's the hope and fear here Sagittarius, hope and fear. About the okay, maybe you you might be seeing a relationship come in or a huge choice. Maybe you fear the choice or the new beginning in something that might become very stable. The lovers card. It might be soulmate energy. Maybe that's what you're hoping for. Or maybe you have that. I don't, I'm not really sure. It's just a it's a hope and a fear, though. So it's not part of your read, unless and you know, in the sense that we know that what we think about usually manifests. So if that's what you're thinking about, though, then it might be an energy that comes in. So the outcome. Something wasn't working. Something wasn't working. You had to stand up for uh, taking control and power and authority over a, a situation. So, because somebody that either was 
helping dominate a situation or uh, rule something. They did it so out of fear. It what the way that they were organizing and trying to run things was pulling down the foundation, not helping. It was not working. Possibly you could have been not working too at the moment. So the outcome though, outcome with this, this is just, I feel like this is the situation here helping us with the rest of the cards. So King of Pentacles with the Justice in Reverse. Justice in Reverse might be about something starting to pay off, but it's not yet come yet. It, it may be um, also something about an authority situation. It might have to do with some, like I said, this, this some kind of authority that was mismanaged or, or, or used fear used fear and, and that's not ever good to rule somebody out of fear it's love and kindness and benevolence that we're looking for king of pentacles does say that you get your stuff together here you get your stuff together and i feel like this is like you're the expert or you're meeting with the expert that is the one good at business entrepreneurship running a family too but focused on the financial aspects and then hopefully turning this stuff around. Let's get something else. Let's get something else. So we have the Eight of Pentacles. Something wasn't working in the way that something, in the way a situation was handled. The planner, the mastermind, something was wrong with that. Okay, add to this. Add to this outcome, please, Spirit. Add to the outcome. Oh, okay. So you might not feel like you have justice for a broken heart, but you're still letting it go. Fair or not, you're moving on. That's what it feels like. Is fair or not, I don't really care. I'm getting out of this um, Three of Swords energy. That's good. That's really good. So that's your reading for your next... Uh, 48 hours there, Sagittarius. Let's get you some tea leaves, too. No. There. Just feel like one more had to come out for some reason. Dragon, beware of self-delusion. Beware of self-delusion. came on the so maybe it's because like thinking you have all the information but you might not there's finger warning you of a problem either now or in the near future maybe with the way that things are done maybe having to defend yourself maybe there's a court issue that just hasn't come up yet too that might be another possibility for it we have kangaroo unsettled times need to plan ahead goodness Sagittarius really finally this page of pentacles, which is the issue, is representing your good news coming in here. Good news. Thank goodness. Oh, good. And you got another good one. Unicorn. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. And let's get you some spell casting cards, too, just to throw them in here at the very end. Um, let me give you some more information. Grieving, coming out of grieving. Oh, we have good luck on the bottom too and peace. I'm going to take that for you. A lucrative win. So we have grieving and home. Grieving and home. Grieving is, it was in the opposite. I think it's coming out. Maybe something that disrupted the home or uh, affects the home life. Remember, I thought this was about something about the way that something's handled or run. And then here's your good luck. So good luck with the lucrative black cat. All right, Sagittarius, that's what I got for you for the next 48 hours. I will have more on your next reading. So sending you love and light until then. Bye-bye.